Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video on the Hawk meter. This is the one that I use and this is the one that I recommend using and we're going to find out just how accurate this meter is today. Um, we're going to be testing it against the Taylor 7.2 solution. Testing it um, 7.0 solution, 4.0 solution, and 10.0 solution just to see how accurate it is so let's get going on this okay let's get started on this we're going to first start off with the Taylor 7.2 solution. Let's see what we got here. Seven point one six. That's pretty darn accurate. That's really, really good. Okay, next, 7.0 solution. Okay, let's see, we got... Exactly 7.0, 6.99, That's extremely accurate. Okay. Now, rinsing this in between. So, let's turn this off. Okay. Now let's go to a 10.0, 10.0 oh solution, and let's see what we got. We had 9.9. That's yeah, 9.9. That's really good. So now let's go down to one more. Okay, now let's go to 4.0. See what we got here at 4.0. Okay, 4.05, 04, four point oh four. That's extremely accurate. So this is why I use this meter, and this is the one that I totally recommend that people um, use. If you're going to use a meter, I love this meter here. Um, I've tried other ones, and this one here it seems to be the best. So this is a non-biased opinion. You guys are getting it straight from me. And, um, and again, I'm not getting paid to, to say this. 
I just think people should, uh, if they're going to do this, they need to know the accuracy of these, uh, of these meters that they're getting. And as we leave this in here, now you, you see we're going down now to even a 4.01. So this, this meter is extremely accurate. And we tested it against the uh, 7.0 standard, 4.0 Calibra buffer solution, 10.0 buffer, buffer solution, and a buffer solution of 7.2. So to me, it passed every single one of them. I and mean, you can't get any closer than that. So um, I'm going to have to tip my hat to Hawk here and uh, for making a, a pretty good meter.